the Bible. Though rejected, the Bible. Christians and saints have been put to death over the Word of God. The Bible is most rejected by many. The Bible, the Holy King James 1611 Bible, is the very instructions and inspiration of God. That people have told me, well, men wrote the Bible. And it's true. And I tell them that men are the pen and the ink is the Holy Spirit. There is no other book written that has done and will do and survive like the Holy Bible. And I sit here under the authority of the Word of God, the King James 1611 Bible. I'm one of them that believe if it's not King James, it's not the Bible. That Jesus said, heaven and earth will pass away. But my words shall never pass away. So when I am here preaching to you about heaven and hell, about the salvation through Jesus Christ alone, it comes out of the Bible that is here on my table. And anybody could step up and come up and say, well, show me. And I can open that Bible and show you the scriptures. That you are a sinner. And sinners die. And that there is an afterlife. You see, when you die, that's not it. There is no reincarnation. There's no virgins. There's no purgatory. There's no planets. The Holy Bible says that there is a heaven and there is a hell. There's no longer Abraham's bosom. That's gone. That paradise is in heaven. But there is a heaven. There is a hell. Now the world will say, Everybody goes to heaven. Or my religion will state who goes to heaven and who doesn't. Our priests, our pastors, our symbols of authority in our religion decides. And I tell you, that's not Bible. That's tradition. That's man. That's rules. That's not the Bible. That God has set forth a standard. God has set forth through Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ said, He is the way. He is the truth. He is the light. That there is no access to God the Father except through the way, 
the truth, and the life. And that's Jesus Christ. There is no hope in the Pope. There is no salvation in a church. There is no heaven through baptism. You are not good enough to please God. The Bible says there is none that doeth good. And yet the Bible, the Holy Bible, says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The Bible says, With the heart man believes unto righteousness. With the mouth confession is made unto salvation. The Bible says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. The Bible says, The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Bible says, Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. The Bible says that what man in tradition says that if it violates the word of God man and tradition are false teachers are false prophets are liars. And they'll have their part in the lake of fire that burneth forever. When the Bible says the Lamb of God takes away the sin of the world. When the Bible says if your name is not found written in the Lamb's book of life, you'll be cast into the lake of fire that burneth forever. This is the second death. When the Bible says go in all the world and preach the gospel. And the Bible says that the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And that he was buried. And that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says in the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. The world says, you come from monkeys. You come from a big bang. And the Bible says that Mother Earth and all that there is goes out with a bang. And the Bible says, all will die. The wages of sin is death. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Bible says you are a sinner. The Bible says you're going to die. And the Bible says the gift of God is eternal life. And that eternal life, the Bible says, is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Be warned. Be forewarned. Be careful. Paul tells us there's another Jesus. There's another gospel. There's another spirit. And if you don't have the Lord Jesus Christ, you have another Jesus, you can't go to heaven. The Catholic Jesus can't save you. The charismatic Jesus can't save you. But Jesus, who is of God, the Jehovah Witnesses are in great error because the Jehovah Witnesses do not believe that Jesus is God. Yet the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord means he is God and the Jehovah Witnesses are wrong. The Roman Catholics will tell you Mary is the interseer and the Bible says there's one mediator between God and man. The man, the man, Mary's not a man. Christ Jesus. There's no hope in religion. There's no hope in the Pope. Only Jesus saved. 
Jesus said in his word, he is the truth, he is the life, and he's the way. God has set forth one way to heaven. God didn't set forth a denomination or a non-denomination. God has set forth his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. God has given us, offered us eternal life. That eternal life is in the Son. And he that has the Son hath everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath, that's hell, the wrath of God abideth upon him through Jesus Christ. Believe, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That's life. Life doesn't begin at 30, it don't begin at 40, it don't begin at 50. Life begins at Calvary. When you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, that's where life begins. And hell begins when you reject Jesus and you die rejecting Jesus. That's the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible. It's rejected. And yet, are the very words of God. The very salvation set forth of God. In print. In English. It's not in the Greek. It's in English. That you might read. Because you speak English. God has given you an English Bible. And in that English Bible, it tells you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And in that English Bible, it tells you what to do and what not to do. The Bible tells you, the King James Bible, the only Bible that tells you to study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing. The word of truth. You got to rightly divide the word of truth. Because if you wrongly divide, you're in trouble with the author. You're in trouble with the finisher. You're in trouble with the Lord Jesus Christ. Salvation is of God and Jesus is God. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says there's a heaven and there's a hell. And if you want to go to heaven, you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. If by chance you want to go to hell, and I, I, I advise you not to, just reject Jesus. Say, preacher, why don't you just shut up? Say, preacher, I don't believe that Jesus. You say, preacher, nothing happens when we die. Say, preacher, my priest will take care of me. Preacher, I go to church. Preacher, I walk old ladies across the street. Preacher, I give money. And those are the very ways that will lead you into hell. But heaven is by belief. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. For God so loved the world that whosoever believeth shall not perish. He that hath the Son hath everlasting life. He that hath not the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God abiding upon him. If you don't have the Son, you have hell. If you have the Son, You'll go to heaven. Simple. So simple. Even a child could get saved. Shame on you. Shame. If you're not saved. 